go. Ah, this is the best way to start the week. <laughs> this angle is absolutely phenomenal. I'm really shocked that I got this. I've been sent stuff by Stacks once before. I've purchased stuff from them a bunch of times, been sent stuff once. So I did not realize I was on the PR, but maybe I am. I know they just launched a new collection. <laughs> Dear Rachel, some pieces from Premium Seamless version 5 for you. Enjoy, Don and Matilda. So this is a PSV5. I think I have one set from the PSV4 and I love it. So I'm so excited. They just sent me black, which is honestly perfect. I don't have the black in my PSV4. So we have this little crop, which is stunning. And then maybe the bike shorts, I'm assuming. <gasps> Oh, they sent me the lounge shorts. So these are just like super short. So I probably won't be wearing these to the gym, but just like around the house, they'll be perfect. And they're a ribbed material, super cute. And I think they just sent the matching underwear, which they usually do, which honestly I love personally. Some of the most comfortable undies you will find. So I definitely recommend purchasing the matching undies if you do buy a set from them. I mean, obviously if you want to, but I really love them. What a great start to my Monday morning. Morning, beautiful people. Thank you. It's Wednesday morning and today is my only day that I don't have like some sort of plans with other people. So I'm kind of having a day to myself, which I'm really excited about. And I'm gonna head over to West End because I have some bookstores that I wanna check out as well as some thrift stores. I might also do a bit of Christmas shopping after. We'll just like kind of see how the day goes, see what I'm feeling, but let's go have a look at some books. just got a new package from Casefy, so I am briefly interrupting this vlog to say thank you to them for sponsoring this little portion of the video. I freaking love Casefy cases. I have so many and I've been using them for years. This is the one that I've currently got on my phone, but I have a bunch of their other ones. We have this really cute daisy one. I have another personalized one that says Rach, which is a bit more minimal. And we have this cloud one, which I think looks really cute. As you can tell, I go for a very like neutral kind of vibe, but they have an endless amount of options. They have some that are super colorful, some that are super minimal, or you can customize them with a name or initial or anything that you want. Case Defy are the only cases that I found that are so protective but still look cute. I feel like you don't realize how protective they are because they just look so sleek. If you didn't know, their new Impact and Ultra Impact cases are actually made from 65% recycled materials. They're also 100% non-toxic and non-hazardous and they also have an antimicrobial coating which kills 99% of bacteria. They also have their Chi Tech 2.0 technology which basically just means they are drop test approved for up to 9.8 feet. Like I said, I did just get a new package. These are their new phone straps which I think are so freaking fun so you can just attach these to your phone I will do it right now so I can show you guys and I feel like they totally changed the whole vibe of your phone so I've just attached mine here but how cute is that like very practical still because you can just carry your phone around like this but if you guys want to check out Caseify for yourself I will leave the link down below you can go to caseify.com slash Rachel to save 15% off your own case and I also think Caseify has some great gift options especially because you can personalize them and Christmas is coming so get your shopping done now but I'll let you guys get back to the vlog good morning guys happy Wednesday I am just about to head out the door I need to remember to lock up though and I think I might grab a jacket too just because I don't know how cold it is outside my mom is on annual leave so usually I go have lunch with her at work but she's on holiday so we are going to go have breakfast together and then I'm actually going out for brunch with my friend Jordana technically 
we haven't met yet. So I never know how to introduce people that it's like, we've talked online, we're kind of like online friends, but we haven't met in real life yet. My Instagram friend? I don't know. I'm really excited to meet her. She used to live in Melbourne. Well, she lived in Brisbane, moved to Melbourne, moved back to Brisbane. And I was like, oh my gosh, when you move back, we need to catch up. And she messaged me last week and was like, do you want to catch up? So we're going to Nodo, which I'm so excited about. I've never been and I've been wanting to go for ages. And I know that she really enjoys it. So that'll be really fun. But first, breakfast with mom. And then we'll be heading straight over to Nodo. This is the fit for today. It's a Princess Polly dress, but I don't think it's still available. I've had it for literally maybe three years. So I don't think they have this exact dress anymore. Sorry guys, it's so cute though. I love the back of it as well. Got a little tie back. It feels like a very spring outfit, so <laughs> that's good. Is anyone listening to anything else this week or surely not? I think I just got to where I'm meeting Jordana. I've never been here before, so I'm gonna have to go try find it. I'm here a bit early, so it doesn't really matter if I can't find it straight away. <laughs> Look who I'm with. Hi. <laughs> we have another mocha loving gal. We appreciate it. We can't have we, else. Was this a pancake? It's a, I'm pretty sure it's a pancake that looks like an omelet. It looks like an omelet. We got some tomatoes. It looks like it has tomato on it. I think the greenery is also... That looks like cheese as well. You're so right. It's supposed to be peaches and cream. Can you imagine if they mixed it up? <laughs> I hope not. I'm cooking dinner. Literally making the most boring dish ever. Of course the fry pans decides to like make noise. As soon as I start vlogging. Look at the steam. Chicken, rice, broccoli, bit of cheese. So simple, one pot. Love it. I don't know if it's an unpopular opinion or not. I feel like I can appreciate really good food, but I also just love a good simple meal. Like chicken, rice, veg, good to go. I just chopped up a bunch of broccoli, adding that in. Does anyone else just love eating grated cheese? How many of you out there are dairy free but still eat cheese? Whether it's like cheese on a cheese board or just cheese somewhere else. How many of you are out there eating cheese? Super easy, I just found it on Pinterest. It's called One Pot Cheesy, cheesy Chicken Broccoli Rice. If I remember, I'll link it down below, but I might forget. If I forget, remind me and I'll do it. Probably doesn't look very appetizing. Like some of you may say, where is the flavor? And I say, I don't know, but I like how it tastes. <laughs> Hey guys, happy Friday. It doesn't even feel like a Friday today. It feels like it's earlier in this week. It feels like it's early. <laughs> it feels like it's earlier in the week. I feel like this week has flown by. Liam and I are actually just waiting out the front of an apartment that we're going to inspect. I'm not gonna lie, I don't have super high hopes. I think it'll be really pretty and like very new and modern, but I'm just worried about the lighting. It does look like a really beautiful building, um, really modern, very different from what we have. I mentioned this in my last vlog that we are starting to look for a new apartment. We may be moving really soon. We may not be moving for a couple months, so it might not be a super short process, but I thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along for the ride anyway. So I'll try and get a few clips on my phone, but we'll see, we'll see how we go. now I did change my outfit I have changed my outfit about three times today we're, we're gonna ignore it not gonna lie do think that apartment was not a fail there were some things that we really liked but as a whole we're not gonna apply for it pretty much the main issues was one lighting which I mentioned to you guys and two it was just really small like the rooms were all small and that's always a problem with looking at photos online you can never quite tell especially when the photos don't have 
furniture in the rooms. It's much easier to make them look huge. We loved how modern it was. The building itself was beautiful. The kitchen was stunning. It wasn't huge, didn't have a lot of storage. Like the kitchen didn't have a lot of storage, but we would have been able to make that work. And to some of you, the whole lighting situation probably sounds very like almost first world. And it kind of is, but my job is literally taking videos, taking photos. And if there's no good lighting, I can't do my job, or at least I can't do it to the standard that I would like to do it. So lighting is genuinely one of the top priorities when we're looking at these apartments. We are going to look at at least two more tomorrow, maybe more. Our other priorities are probably not even like a huge space. Like we don't need a huge apartment, but we just don't want something that's so tiny. Like Liam said, he walked into the apartment today and felt cramped and I totally agree. I obviously work from home and Liam studies full time online now. He doesn't actually go into uni very often. Liam does work outside the home, like he doesn't work from home, but we just spend so much time at home. So having like a decent amount of space is important for us because we don't want to be in each other's pockets. We also really would love aircon because we don't currently have that. A decent sized kitchen, a decent parking situation because sometimes it's absolutely ridiculous and like stupid. And just like a decent sized bedroom. That is literally it. It's mostly just size, lighting, modern-ish. Because if it's modern-ish, it'll have aircon and that's what we want, so. But I'll take you guys along with me tomorrow and we can have a look at those apartments and see what we think. Hopefully we find a winner, otherwise back to the drawing board. Good morning guys, it's Saturday. I bought this hair towel a few days ago from Target. I think it was like $4 or something. And I'm obsessed with it. I've never had a hair towel before. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's the little things in life, truly. But it's just so soft and just so ideal. Even just like getting ready, I'm about to do my makeup. And like my hair is all out of my face, but it's also getting dry. This is incredible. Definitely recommend. But I'm just getting ready for the day. I, <laughs> I prefer to take weekends off work but i just have so much to do so i think today will be a mix of things we are going to go and inspect two apartments they're both in the same building i mentioned it all yesterday and a bunch of my friends are going to the beach today and they invited me along and i want to go so badly but i think in reality i need to work like i don't think i have the time so they're all heading off together and i told them that if i can i'll meet them there afterwards but at this stage looking at my to-do list I don't think it's gonna happen, but we'll see. It's just that time of the year. I feel like I've tried so hard to be so organized and I'm not stressed, but in order to keep on top of things and like stay organized, I probably need to use today as a work day. So it's just how it is, but I'm gonna keep getting ready and I'll talk to you guys later. My hair is still like half wet, so just ignore that. But I have a package and I thought it'd be fun to open it with you guys. Where are my scissors? I literally don't know. Oh, my room is a mess. Please just don't look. <laughs> Close your eyes. I'm just kidding. This is probably the most random collection of things. Sometimes I'll just think of things that I need or like gifts for people or whatever and I'll add them to my Amazon cart and then once I have a few things I'll check out, you know? I don't know if that makes sense. Oh my gosh. Those are huge. Whoops. Basically every year I do a stocking for Liam and I just put like a bunch of random stuff in it like gum and mints and socks, lip balm, his favorite snacks, just random little bits and pieces. But if he mentions that he needs something or wants something, I'll try and put it in there. We don't really do big gifts. We just don't really care. But one thing that he mentioned recently is like every time we do a barbecue, we make kebabs or like skewers, you know? And he always gets annoyed that the wooden skewers kind of get like singed and stuff with the barbecue. And he's like, oh, we need some metal ones. And I found some on Amazon. I did not realize I would literally be a meter long. Okay, they're not a meter long, but that's huge. It's probably not even gonna fit in his stocking, but I just, I don't know. I thought it would be a good idea. Then, I hope these aren't broken. I'm just gonna open them and check. I have glass straws and I love them. And the other day, Georgia was like, where did you get those from? And I was like, oh, I got them from Amazon. I'll order you some. So I ordered her some. I'll have to just like give these to her next time I see her. I'm just worried that they're gonna be broken. Oh no, they look, oh no, they are, they're fine. But glass drawers are a game changer. So definitely recommend. If you don't know what they look like, they look like this, a glass straw. And then the one thing that I ordered for myself is a book, but I was convinced. It's The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I've just seen this everywhere recently. And then I saw Hayley Pham post about it. And she was like, oh my gosh, I love this book. Read it so quickly. And I was like, Got to buy it now. And I tried to look for it at like five different bookstores, like independent ones, indie ones, and I couldn't find it. So I did end up ordering it on Amazon, but I'm so excited to read that. It's now eight o'clock. Our inspections don't really start till like 10.30. So I need to go eat some breakfast and then get my butt into gear, get some work done. I'm still trying to find it.
It is now 3 p.m. So it's much later in the day. I am back in my pajamas because I'm straight up exhausted. We did go and inspect three apartments this morning. They were all in the same building. So I only recorded one because only one out of the three was fully vacant and had no furniture in it. And I didn't really want to take videos of like someone else's like furniture and stuff in their apartment. But one of them was completely empty. So I filmed that one. They were all very similar, pretty much all the same layout. Some were just flipped because they were on the other side of the building. And honestly, the apartments themselves were very promising. They were an amazing size. Bedrooms were a great size. The bathrooms were a great size. The kitchen was great. They weren't as modern as the one that we went and saw yesterday. And so they did feel very lived in. Like the carpet was a lot older and a bit like, not dirty, but just lived in, you know, which is fine. That's not like a deal breaker for us, but it was just like something we noticed. The apartment that I liked the layout of the most I didn't like the position of it. Like it was a lot lower in the building and it was on a very busy street. So because it was lower, it was a lot louder in that apartment. But the one that was higher up had awful lighting. I'm not sure if it was just because of the side of the building that it was on. So obviously, like I mentioned before, that wouldn't have worked for us, but the one that was lower, way louder, which also wouldn't have worked. But even though the apartments themselves had a lot of things that we really loved, the main turnoff for the entire apartment building was just the location of it. It's in a really great suburb. Like we love the suburb but it's on an extremely busy street and if we lived there we would constantly be stuck in traffic at any time of the day even if we just wanted to leave for like five minutes so if we just wanted to like duck down to the shops to get something for dinner we would be stuck in so much traffic just because of the road that the apartment block was on and that is just that's just a deal breaker for us really so after yesterday and today and viewing those few apartments we're still kind of at the drawing board we haven't found any that we like enough to even apply for and even if we do apply, obviously there are gonna be other people applying as well. So that doesn't guarantee anything either. So yeah, I do feel a little bit disheartened, a little bit discouraged, but we do have a couple of months still before we need to be out of this apartment. I didn't think it would be this hard because we found this place so easily, but I think we got very lucky with this place. So yeah, I'll keep you guys up to date. I don't think we'll be viewing any more this weekend. So there'll probably be more in future weekly vlogs, but of course I'll keep you guys updated. But as for the rest of today, I have just been getting heaps of work done but I will say I feel like I've kind of hit a brick wall and I think I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the day I think I ticked almost everything off my to-do list except for like one thing <sighs> so I feel good but I do feel exhausted so I think I'm just gonna let myself chill for a bit I haven't read in so long because I've been so busy and that's not good because reading is like my form of self-care so if I haven't been reading it means I'm not taking any time for myself so hopefully that is what the rest of the day will hold Here to end off the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog and for those of you who don't care I will see you guys in my next video very soon. Guys, I finished this chunker. Almost 550 pages. I usually, <laughs> I kind of avoid longer books just because I love the feeling of finishing a book so sometimes if I know it's going to take me a while it kind of puts me off. Um, but this is the third book in the Addicted slash Callaway Sisters series so of course I wanted to read it and I feel like these books are such an easy read. Like you can read 100 pages and it doesn't feel like 100 pages. They're just so digestible I guess. That sounds gross digestible. So this is Addicted for Now. So this is the third book with Lily and Lo. But I think this was the first book where we get Lo's perspective as well as Lily's, which was so good. I really, really, really enjoyed this. I think this is my favorite book in the series so far. Obviously, I'm only three books deep and I think there's 10. So I've still got a while to go and the rest of them are all quite large books, I think. But I'm really excited because the next book is Kiss the Sky, which I'm pretty sure is Connor and Rose's book. And I love Connor and Rose. I'm not sure who are gonna be my favorite couple yet. I feel like Lilo is just 
just the core, just the, you know, like foundational couple. So I feel like they'll always hold a special place in my heart. But I also just love Connor and Rose's personalities, at least what we've seen of them so far. For those of you who haven't heard about this series, it's called the Addicted Series slash the Callaway Sister Series. And it's about three sisters. Lily, Rose, and Daisy, and also about their love interest. So it's kind of like a huge friend group because they all hang out together. So even though the first three books are mostly about Lily and Lo, you do get to see snippets of the other characters and like their relationships starting to bud, I guess. But I think this is just my comfort series. It's just one of those books that I read when I just want to chill and just like sit back and like almost hang out with my fictional friends. That's how I feel about this series. And I know a lot of people feel the same way. It's not necessarily incredible writing. It's not necessarily an incredible plot at all. Sometimes it feels like there is nothing happening at all, but I just love it. It's just such a good comfort series. I'm trying not to read them too quickly because I do want to savor it because I don't want it to be done, but I do know that there's a whole nother series about their kids, I'm pretty sure, and the authors are still coming out with books for that series, so at least I know that I have that when I finish this, but this is just, I don't know, I love it. I think I'd rate this book probably like a four yeah probably a four out of five because again not great plot not great writing do love the character development i will say that but it's just like it just holds a special place in your heart i think the series as a whole is going to be a five star series for me but it's just because i love the characters and not really for any other reason so i don't know if everyone would love this but I personally do. Like I mentioned earlier in this vlog, I didn't really get a lot of reading done this week because I was just working. It's just a busy time of year in the social media industry. Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas time, this whole this whole time of the year is just really crazy. It's pretty much just like working Christmas in retail. If you work Christmas in retail, you'll probably get it. But yeah, I'm going away next week. So I'm hopefully gonna take a lot of books with me and do a lot of reading. And hopefully I can kind of bump up my November reads because right now my November TBR pile is looking very large and my November November red pile is looking very small. Of course, I'll keep you guys updated in future vlogs. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know if you've read the Addicted series and let me know what your thoughts are, who your favorite couple is. I would love to hear. But that's all I have to share with you guys this week. So hopefully I will see you in my next video very soon. Goodbye.